Hello guys, uh, in this video I would like to explain about Box Cox transformation in R and R Studio. Uh, of course, we do it in R Studio and you can do it in R the same code. Uh, uh, if you remember, we have done a video uh, about Box Cox transformation in Python uh, one or two weeks earlier and where i explain that why we need transformation and what are the other transformations and uh, what 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 the transformation gives us in which situation we can use in which subject we can use so if you want to know about all these things uh, it is important to watch that video the link to that video is given in the description of this video uh, that is in python but the theory is of course same the background where, when and why we use and how we can interpret the result these all things are similar so you can go and watch that video the description is given uh, uh, the link to that video is given in the description of this video uh, you can use this transformation in variety of areas like finance economics um, psychology econometrics and different areas where you uh, you are using statistical model that require the normality assumption and you, uh, if you think that the data is not normally distributed you need to do some transformation of course you can use log transformation and in this in this case particularly when the value of lambda equal to zero you you need to do log transformation your log transformation inverse transformation and uh, square root transformation etc so uh, I will not talk about the detail about, uh, because I have done this. So you can do, you can watch that in the video, and uh, to which link is given in the description of this video. Uh, I will I will discuss this, uh, elaborate that how we can do this uh, test in uh, transformation in R Studio. You can see this picture on the screen give you a clear clear picture about the box cost transformation. Look at this data the red color histogram. It is obviously skewed, you know, to the left side, positive skew distribution like this. And when you apply the box cox transformation, this transformation give you this result. And you can see this is original data and this is transformed data. And so the data look like normally, but normally distributed. But you need to check it numerically using some tests like Henderson Darling test. Shapiro Welk test and York Bureau test. So you can use any one of those these tests to confirm whether it is normally distributed or not. Uh, these tests, uh, I have done videos uh, about these tests in Python and R Studio as well. So you can, uh, the links to these videos are, are given in the description of this video. So you can go and watch those videos as well. However, today we, uh, I will use Shapiro Welk test to confirm the normality of the transformed data. Uh, okay, now let's move uh, to our studio that how we can do this test, how we can implement this test in our studio. Okay, swap that's all white. Okay, now it's okay. We are here. So you need to, uh, you need you don't need this package perhaps let's see and you need this package mass so you need to call library mass and then just for to reproducibility and then i need thousand observation you can draw 100 observation that's it's not important so thousand observation and mean lag i'm you know i'm drawing this data from log normal distribution so that's mean I need the parameter mean log. I just named this mean log is zero and standard deviation log is one. So just mention this. This is the number of observation, standard deviation of the log normal, mean of the log normal distribution and standard deviation of the log normal distribution. Run this. Okay, it's so working and now you can draw data. This is R log normal or L N O R M random number plum log normal distribution with n which is this one mean log which is this one and standard deviation log is this one just run this you have got already this 
data and now you can display the top values of the data and just want to see how it look like here yeah, it's look like this uh, because here yeah, mean is zero and standard deviation is one so the data is and now you 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 just need to test whether the data is normally distributed or not you know the original data and if you want you can just test you can plot the histogram is yeah, yeah. yeah this program will look like this so this means that this is positive or skewed however you can test to confirm of course this is confirmed because it's not look like normal distribution so you can apply shapiro underscore test the result will be stored in the shapiro underscore test and the function r is shapiro dot test and data so just apply this on the data and now just print shapiro dot underscore test results yes and uh, you should know that the null hypothesis in the shapiro dot shapiro well test is that the data is normally distributed so you can see that this is the test statistic and the p value is very very less 2.2 a raised to power minus 16 so it's very less this means that we reject the null hypothesis and we, we we claim that the data is not normally distributed which is obvious from the histogram as well so the data is not normally distributed now let's move to the transformation and then after the transformation we again we will check whether the data is normally distributed or not for box cox transformation unlike in the python uh, we need a model simply you can let's say uh require model object for simplicity we use a linear model like simple model like this simple linear model with no predictor just run this and now apply box cox transformation to the model these are some of the lambda values you can specify here the lambda will be between minus two and two at this by difference so this is we applied already box of transformation to the data, I mean to the model. And now you can extract the optimal value, lambda value. Okay, now the optimal value of, you know, the function here in the, this, this is the lambda. Y i power lambda is equal to y i lambda minus one divided by lambda. So lambda is not equal to zero. So this is the optimal value of lambda we can extract, which can be used which can be used for transformation. So we can extract the value of the value of lambda. So just using this function, this will isolate and this will extract the optimal lambda. The stored in this one, just click and the lambda is minus 0 0.02. So this will be used for a transformation. So you can do a lot of things with R without, without too much effort. Just get the scan get simply that's the, the optimal value of lambda is also and now you can apply the box cox transformation define box cox transformation function so this is the function f lambda equal to zero return log x so this means that uh, your data is by x suppose represented by x so f lambda is equal to zero then return the variable transform the variable as a log x you can see that i already told you that when lambda is equal to zero so you can apply a log transformation otherwise you need to do this transformation so uh, yields return x power lambda minus one and divide by lambda so the same thing is defined in r this thing is defined in r if lambda equal to zero just take the log of the data and if lambda is not equal to zero then use this thing data power lambda minus one divided by lambda you can see the same thing is defined this will just use run this okay so now the box cox transformation function is defined here you already defined the box cox transformation function like this so now you can apply you can this box cox transformation the function is defined so apply this box cox transformation function on the data and use the optimal value of the lambda which you got already just do this 
and transform data. So this is now transform data save the data which is transformed by using box box transformation. So of course we are not using now log log transformation. We are using this one because lambda the optimal value of lambda you already know that minus zero point uh, zero to something like this. Just run it again. You will see the value. This is minus zero point zero two. So we are this one this part has been applied and you got this data. Now you can see the transform data using this function which defined here. The transform data is look like this. We will see the histogram so that will be more clearer. Now we can we can uh, plot both data set original data and transform data to see how both data look like before transformation and after transformation. So run this one two so this is you can just make it as it look like nice so this is the original data you can see histogram of the original data and this is the uh, histogram of the transformed data look like normally distributed this is skewed fast is skewed and this is look like normally distributed after the transformation however we can use shapiro welk test abnormality to confirm so this is now the Shapiro Welk test. Uh, Shapiro Welk test. Uh, this is the function Shapiro dot test and transform data. Initially, we applied to the original data, and that was not normally distributed. The p value was very less, very small, and now we are applying this to the transform data. So you can use transform. That should be different than the original one. You know, we apply it to the original data. So just apply this test. Okay, no, this should be together with this. Okay, applied. Now you can write T or A because there is T or A. Now display the result of the Shapiro well test, Shapiro well test, which we apply to the transform data. Yes, this is the Test statistic and the PV is 0 0.6 to 87, which is far higher than 0 0.05. So we accept the null hypothesis and conclude that uh, the data which we transformed here, we transformed by using box cock transformation. This green color histogram is normally distributed. So this is all about uh, box cock transformation and R and R studio, you can apply very easily. No, there is no, no difficulty. If you think there is problem, you face some problem difficulties, just write me in the comment box so I will respond. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Ciao.